This video is brought to you by WP Forms. Today, you'll learn how to display breadcrumb navigation links in WordPress. This is a great feature to have both for users so they know exactly where they are on your site. And it's also great for search engines to know the exact structure and hierarchy of the links that are on your web page. As you see here, search engines like Google have started displaying breadcrumbs along the page title in search results. And this gives your website more visibility in the search results and increases the click through rate. So let me show you how you can do it for your site. The easiest way to do that is by installing the breadcrumb nav XT plugin for your site. If you notice here, WP beginner actually uses this. And this is what you always see at the top of all of our blog posts. And we've chosen this one simply because it's just easy to set up, easy to maintain and easy to adjust. So let's head back over to our WordPress dashboard. We'll go to plugins, add new, and we need to search for breadcrumbs nav XT. This is the one we want. So let's go ahead and install it and then stick around to activate it as well. Once it's installed, you can either go to settings here, or if you ever need to come back and make adjustments, then go all the way down to settings on the left and go to breadcrumb nav XT. And from here, you can make the changes. It's divided into four different sections. The general is for the general schema. Then you also have post types, same with taxonomies. If you have your categories, then you can make adjustments here. And then finally, there's miscellaneous. If there's things like author template or the date template, you have search template and you can change all of these as well as the 404 template. We will keep the default settings. So we'll scroll down in case you make any changes, make sure to save settings. Now we need to show this on our site so we can go to appearance, customize to make the changes and add it to our site. You should see a breadcrumb tab. So we'll click on the breadcrumb tab and choose where we want it to go. For this, I'm going to go to a blog post to show you what this will look like. So right now we have no position, but we can choose to do inside header going to be up here after header and before title under breadcrumb source. You can choose which breadcrumb source to use. We'll use the breadcrumb nav XT. And then down here, you can choose where all to place the breadcrumbs. By default, it is shown on all of these, but if you want to, you can disable them here. You can also choose alignment as well as spacing to give yourself a bit of space. Once you've made all your changes, don't forget to click publish and then it will become live on your site. Now, the second method you can use to get the navigation breadcrumbs is by going to the Yoast SEO plugin and making changes there. So if you already have Yoast, you can use this. It doesn't have the same customizable features as the breadcrumb nav XT, but you can make adjustments. So for that, if you have Yoast installed, you want to go to SEO search appearance. And from here, we want to go to the breadcrumbs tab. We want to enable it. Pick the separator that you want for your breadcrumbs and do the anchor text for the home page. Everything else looks okay. You want to show it on the blog post. If you want to bold the last one, then you can for effect. And once you're done, there are a few others that you can choose and then save changes. Again, once you do that with Yoast, you'll still need to go back to appearance, customize, and I uninstalled the breadcrumb nav XT. And so we'll have to go back to breadcrumbs and choose where to put it as well as the source. So now we're going to choose the Yoast breadcrumbs. And again, you can choose how you want this to look. Once you're done with that, then click publish. And another way that you can help customers navigate through your website is by installing something like WP Forms. WP Forms is the easiest to use drag and drop form builder for your website. With WP Forms, you can do so much more. You can do something as simple as a contact us page or something as robust as completely automating your workflow for your office or for your business. To get started, just head over to WPForms.com forward slash WP beginner to get the best discount on WP Forms. And thanks for watching.